Hello, welcome back. Um, this is a short demo just to show a couple new pieces of eye candy that I've added. So one thing, and, and, and also control. So I've added the ability to move around with the mouse. You can now zoom with the mouse wheel. Also, there's smooth view changes. So when I change views, we're now in the follow view. In the follow view, uh, you're not tied directly to the ship. So what that means is when you move the ship, you're trying to stay behind the ship, but the ship can you can you can sort of tell that the ship is moving and you sort of water ski behind it. Okay. So here's the top view. This is the ecliptic view which gives you a big zoom out until you can see the whole solar system. So we'll see where the other um, black holes in the planet are. Let's see if I'm going towards any of them. Looks like I'm moving away from all of them. So ultimately we want to run into the planet. Looks like we have about a minute to go. So here we zoom back into the ship. This is a the cinematic view, which uh, the ship's. This is you're, you're completely disconnected from the ship, and the whole view is rotating. So, sort of a cinematic view. Uh, back in the cockpit view, you can also look around now. So-called free view allows well, you look around them with the mouse. Click, you go back. get free view from from follow as well. So as we enter the planet, we should be able to see some other effects. So I'm going to turn on the thrusters. some entry effects. And the, the edges get sort of red and you see the sh ship shaking up and stuff. You go zoomed inside the ship and uh, you see the shaking there too. And it's based on uh, the aerodynamics so if you go in straight you're, you have less drag and then uh, you'll have uh, less, less shaking. So here's the planet, it's still bathed in the red light of that uh, red giant. Okay, well, here's some more turbulence. Alright, well thanks for watching.